Hello fellow pipe smokers, Sean Ferris here with the StorytellersPipe.com doing a real quick short review on corn cob pipes and then uh, follow up with Sam Gowis Full Virginia Flake. Shout out to the Corn Cob Nation. They're big supporters of the cob pipe movement. These have been made in the U.S. for decades, uh, probably as far back as the history of the nation. The lowly corn cob pipe fantastic smoking instrument. Uh, the Legend series, like I've got in my hand here, can be had for under $10 all over the place. You can get a little bit pricier cobs, mod cobs, that kind of thing. Uh, so if you have an interest in cobs, get on the Facebook group Corn Cob Nation and you will learn all kinds of great things about cobs. Um, can't speak highly enough of Missouri Mearsham's corn cob pipes great pipe if you want to have multiple pipes at a budget price range you can get a seven day set of legends going for under seventy dollars same price that you would spend for one briar pipe in some cases so definite value uh, for a fantastic smoking machine today's review on tobacco is the Sam Gowith full Virginia flake in my left hand I've got older production nicer 10 art right hand newer production Deeming laws have the uh, new warning label on them. When I get these um, flakes, they come in flake form. I rub them out. This is a example of ready rub. See the nice ribbon mix of golden medium, golden brown, Virginia in there. The uh, heat pressing that they give it is part of what ages, colorizes it, caramelizes a little bit. So when you get a fresh tin, it's already pre-aged because of the pressing process, which is to our advantage as pipe smokers because it gives you a great uh, Virginia right out of the tin. And like all Virginias, if you age it for a few years, it gets a little bit better with age, but for fresh out of the tin, it is really hard to beat the Sam Gow with full Virginia flake. So I give it about 30 to 45 minutes of dry time. Sip on it. I don't get any bite, no burn. It's a, a great Virginia that doesn't burn too hot if it's smoked properly. Tin note. Fresh cut hay. Reminds me of sweet Timothy grass. Um, brings back childhood memories when I was growing up working the fields, cutting hay, bucking bales, working the horses, that kind of thing. So you get sweet, fresh cut hay, little citrus, mild leather, real mild stewed fruit, little breadiness. All the things that you come to expect in a Virginia. But that freshness of that fresh cut grass is fantastic. Now when you smoke it, you get the, the fresh uh, grassiness, a little bit of citrus. Uh, occasionally I'll get a little bit of breadiness. Uh, as I smoke through the bowl, I get uh, a little bit of mild, mild uh, spice build up and it's not that it's got spice from the preek I think it's just the spice builds on your taste buds a little bit from the uh, smoke as you're smoking the, the blend um, if you're looking to get into the Sam Gowith line of products it's hit and miss because of importation and the uh, run on tobaccos that a lot of guys have done in the last several years um, cellaring so when the shipment hits the shores guys jump on it because they're afraid they're never going to see it again um, so there's a lot of fear purchases and they want to make sure that they have enough in their cellar to last them i don't think we have to worry about sam gowith going away anytime soon They've been around for a couple hundred years. I imagine they will probably be around for a couple hundred more. 
If you are a fan of Virginia, you owe it to yourself to get a tin or box of Sam Gallows Full Virginia Flake. You'll really enjoy it. If you're a Latakia file or an aromatic guy, this could be a fantastic option for you to try a really nice Virginia. Um, they've been making it this way for a couple hundred years. They're still making it the way they did back then. They're doing something right. So give it a shot. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, give me some feedback. If there's anything I can do better, let me know. Otherwise, we look forward to seeing you at thestorytellerspipe.com, and happy piping.